Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Huangshao campaign. This is episode 25. We picked up from turn 95 in the summer season of 209. So last episode, we conquered our second emperor seat here in Chang'an. And our armies uh, from the north are still sweeping west. We're going to clean up the areas here uh, in this episode and do some diplomatic dealings with our friend Gongdu. Uh, to secure some of the key assets in the West. We're not going to backstab him now. Um, not until before we claim all our territory. And he's very friendly. I don't think I want to backstab such a friend. So time to put this theory to the test. Okay, we can actually take it this turn. That's actually good. Um, who is leveled up? Probably just the Simon character. Probably don't have to worry too much about this. Might as well... Ah! It's our leader. Let's see, what can I give him? We can work towards this. Um, at least it can be helpful. Now, speaking of our leaders, we can actually... Okay, we can first put an administrator, a local leader here. Uh, who was it? It's our... Burnt officer. I believe his name was Xiang something with. I hope I can find him. I feel like I missed him. I feel like he should be higher up. He should have high level. I don't see him. I know he's. In this army? Why can't we click the right army? Oh, this is the right army. It's him. Why can't we find him? Am I just blind? Or is he not on this list? He's definitely not on this list. He is definitely not on that list. Which is really strange. There he is. He just wasn't available through the other format. Why? Anyways, we're gonna put him here. Uh, not in Taishan. In this interface is weird too. All right, in Chang'an. There we go. Confirm. All right, all done. That takes care of all the people. We're going to grab Unding real quick. Uh, we'll just delegate this. All right, level up. It's very key for us to take this. Oh, armor level up too. Population increase, decrease recruitment, population increase. We don't have to do anything. We don't want actually, we don't care about the population at all. Alright, we have a level up along with our armor level up. So this is the, I mean, we've already seen all three silver armors. We just want to see a gold armor. Uh, we can finally get reach. This would be very, very helpful in the west. I f have a feeling that Yuan Shao wants to claim this, but he would need 8,000 gold. Um, I don't I don't know if he has 8,000 gold. We can check. Nope, he has 31 gold, so he can't take that empty land even if he wanted to. We don't have to worry about him stealing that from us. Now we can negotiate with our friend here who really loves us, so I hope we can have some really easy deals since we are now bordering uh, counties that we actually want. We want the horse pasture. Let's start with this deal. 12. We can deal with that. We have a lot of armor stored up for this purpose. Uh, let's give him... I don't want to trade away this uh, gold one. Ooh, what is this? What is this? This bug. These should be like 4.3 each. Yep, so this is almost even. I will give him the deal. We'll give him the extra 0.3. 
All right, now we have this piece. We're going to continue trading with him. Can we just put our friend up here? Yep. A lot of deals, a lot of deals real quick. Um, now we're boarding the animal tamer so we can get horses. And let's see, what else are we boarding? Toolmaker, not interested. We're just interested in the horses for now. Let's grab this one. All right, also three armor would do it. Although I kind of want to give him undying back, but first the armors. There we go. This one might be too much. Why don't you give us some money? Oh, you are rich. 2,000 per turn. Definitely not as rich as us, but you're still loaded. We'll grab some money back. All right, let's see what else we can get now, now that we have the animal tamer. Now we can get this farmland so we can get the next horse pasture. We'll give you back one farmland. Should be a pretty even trade. 9.4. Uh, I think these are worth about six, and this is worth about four. We can ask them cash back. We're just bamboozling him for all his territory. All right. And then we can get the horse pasture. Right here, that's what we really want. And we can actually, maybe we can even trade back the farmland. Yep, he values the food a lot. We can pay him, actually. It won't be too much, maybe a few hundred. Ooh, maybe a few thousand. Okay, this is more than I'm comfortable giving. We have a lot of Enzuri items over here that we're just never going to use. Like five clay rats. There we go. He can have point two. Alright, we swap the farm right back. Let's see, let's see. Silk trader, and then it'll border the horse pasture. Perfect. 18.5. Take two of these for 13.4. We're short about four points. We'll give two more clay rats. And then we'll give him one food. Which should be 1.5. Oh, 1.1. Perfect. He's not short on food, so I guess he doesn't really care about food. All right, we're unloading all the armors. Let's see. What else can we steal? There's a horse pasture right here. And we're running out of items to give him, but we have plenty of these. Uh, let's see. We can give him some of the better ones, too. But I guess we can give him these first. We're really never going to use these. 5.1 I guess we'll have to do money uh, we'll pay cash up front it would be expensive but because it's high it's actually worth it because you actually get higher jumps as it goes up towards 5.1 so it actually won't be that bad we're buying a horse pasture for cavalry saving so everything will be worthwhile it's quite expensive but even if you take an unclaimed territory, it's about this price anyway, so. There we go. We can rationalize everything. Alright, and then there's a silk trader here that we want. And that's it. I think then we have all three silk traders and all three horse pastures. How much? 18.5. We could give him some of these, but we're kind of short on weapons. We're keeping the gold armor. Oh, we have a horse. I didn't even know that. Uh, we'll give him a clay fish. Clay two clay dogs. 
one rooster and then some cash probably a thousand and then we can be very happy in the west why do you just backstab people when you can just pay them off Alright, so this is our new territory. Let's take a look. We have Silk Trader, Horse Pasture, Silk Trader, Horse Pasture. And over here we have Animal Tamer, Horse Pasture. So we got all three Horse Pasture. We have, uh, we're going to have all three Silk Traders. So that's basically everything valuable in the West. There's still a Copper Mine here, but we can't border it. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit hard to get. A little sad we can't get that right away, uh, but it's not a big loss. We can control corruption through other methods. Um, pretty happy with how we dealt there. So we want our main army to swing down to the Jade Mine. Uh, this army can go crush Han Zhong. Even though it's more efficient, he can actually take both down this turn, but we're not in a rush. We're going to send this army down into this county over here. They'll travel with our main army. Everything's pretty easy. Delegate. Ah, new officer. Please, please be a veteran. Oh, yes, it's a veteran. And a philosopher. Okay, philosophers are good. Uh, we get some... Research rate and has potential for resourcefulness. And the trait's not completely terrible, so hooray. She leveled up. We'll get recovery on her. We have enough heals in this army. We don't need to give her a heal. They can destroy this rebellion force first. We'll just delegate this fight. Hopefully get another officer. Ah, yes we did. Okay. That's very nice. Back to back. Back to back veterans. Okay, Ryder. Uh, Ryder's okay. We could use them. Not the best. Oh, but he came with a silver item. All right, very useful sewer item too. Uh, we're gonna give it to our new administrator inside of Chang'an for discounts, and also five reserve for whatever reason. We have a level up here. Which army are you in? Yeah, which army are you in? Oh, over here in Anding. Uh, we traded away, so they popped out. That's interesting. Let's see. We have reach, so we don't need you to lead. Although the extra 10% armor piercing is not bad. Armor. Probably condemn. Just useful as a skill. I should go. We, yeah, we should probably just go up. Income first. We actually don't need her to fight too much. And let's see. What we need to do is find our leaders. Chai Pete. Give him the authority horse. Give him... None of these can increase authority, so we don't need to give him a weapon. Do we have any leader abilities? This reduces corruption, which is kind of weird because... Unix actually increased corruption historically, so it's weird to see that it decreases. But the minus five percent corruption is actually quite good. Like this will actually help us because we actually have satisfaction fixed. So this is actually not a bad move. Let's do that, and we don't have anything. We just probably can increase his um authority a little bit. I don't think we have anything that's extremely relevant to the leader position. We need more discourse of the state. We only have one. That's a big issue. We'll give him just more authority points. 
All right, he's all set. And then the other leader is... Where are you? Here you are. You're fully decked out. Yeah, you have the right book and the right items. And then we have another leader, Sima Wei, who is on the field, I think. He's a general, too. Where are you? There you are. Um, We can't really increase your authority. Oh, that's a good item for a general and a leader. And I think we're going to give you... Hmm. Your retinue are reclaimers. All reclaimers. Interesting. All reclaimers. Yeah, we, we don't need that much authority. It's just going to give us more satisfaction, which we have so much of. 227 plus. Just ridiculous. Alright, so we're good there. We're done in the west. We don't care about that, really. We just gotta upgrade everything real quick, and then it'll be nice and easy. Grab that one next turn. We got the Jade Mine. We're gonna start marching out towards Tal Tal. And uh, Tal P has come to defend the trade port as we rush towards him with three armies. One, two, three. One assistant. This army can sneak attack Luoyang, which is our goal here. Cut off their retreat. And let's see. We don't need any more defensive army in the north. Everything's safe up there. We need to give them a full army now. Uh, be pretty standard. Range comp. Be expensive, but maybe if we give them items first, it'll be less expensive. Just as much instinct as we can pile on these guys. Yeah, that's probably the highest instinct we can give him. I mean, it's already super cheap because they're in the headquarter commandery. But we'll do our best to make things cheaper. Let's see how much cheaper. Oh, 50 gold. 50 gold cheaper. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's pump these out. You see how once we have the horse pastures, you notice the, the recruitment costs and upkeep costs? It's getting ridiculous. These guys are free now. Uh, we'll go with this. We're going to put out a entire uh, cavalry army soon. Alright, this army is ready. We'll push out closer here as well. And then we'll swap this army so they're better suited for the fight ahead. It's going to be spending money on units for a, a while as we get ready to blitz Tal Tal. We don't have money to switch these to Archery Masters, but I really want to. This army is really bad. It has to be kind of on defensive duties. I think we'll keep them in the south over here, where we could get invaded. And we're going to have this army hide out right here. Not hide, but like station right there. Best way is to go on the road here. We can march. We can switch to march after we get there. We'll get more points back. There we go. We want to go all the way here. Mm, this army is fine. We don't really need to touch it. Ideally, he pops out, switch another healer in here, give him a nice veteran. We could do it. Um, maybe after they get into Pengcheng's territory, then everything will be cheaper too for them. All right, I think that might be all the armies. Which one did a move? Ah, they're going to be the new ambush party here, but they really can't fight. Down south... We're going to mobilize them. We're going to head towards this part right here. I don't know if there's an army here. It'll take us two turns. Uh, they're decently strong. This army is actually really weird. Because we have uh, mixed units here. 
It was really for defensive purposes. Mm. Yeah, it's a large town. We can take it. Ah, speaking of army setup, we need to switch the items now. Now that they're all recruited. We want cunning. He can stay. Loose formation is pretty useful. Also cunning on you. You can use whatever. It doesn't really matter. This will help your battle stats. But do I want to give it to you? Yeah, that's fine. Better sh weapons. There we go. Alright, so we have three armies uh, going to blitz down Yangzhou and Chen. Once everyone's in position, one army coming down to attack Luoyang, and then three armies coming down to attack the trade port. Alright, I think we're all set up. Just got to do the buildings real quick with the little bit of money we have left. We don't have much. Chang'an's definitely getting assignments. Definitely building this up. Let's get some of these low-level guys leveled up. And I can level her up. We'll start with the easy buildings. Um, artisan. We need artisan. We need... What else do we need? Huh. I don't know what else to build. We could also... Plant food here. Forge. Artisan and forge. And then the third building, maybe. Maybe a temple? I don't know. Artisan first. Let's see, we're here. No rush. Full build. One thousand nine hundred. Well, I want to upgrade this for rank three, rank two, rank three is here. We could, we can't rush it. It won't, it won't hurry anything up. Okay. Ah, we're out of cash. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we could upgrade all these later. And that's it. Let's go to the next turn. Alright. Uh, Yuan Shu has abandoned Domin Wise. We got our extra ammo reform. Let's pick a new one. There's a lot of good ones. Industry. Income's really good. 40% is just huge as well. Replenishment. We're kind of already maxed. Yeah, at this point, this late, we don't really need that. Not really going for Scholar Warriors. I need these guys eventually. But I guess we'll go with this first. Probably help our income the most. I believe we fired him. Oh no. He worked for us before and then Gondu recruited him. But I don't think we need him. Yeah, we don't need him. Alright, let's wrap up Domin's last territory. He didn't even put out a new army. Alright, now we have control of all the silk. The only problem here... Is I don't think we can actually boost silk income as... Well, he's administrator. Definitely need this. I don't think we can boost silk income as the yellow turbans. Because if you look at this building chain, usually you have an option at the end to boost uh, your silk income with your marketplace. But that doesn't seem like it exists for the yellow turbans. Which really sucks because spice you can always boost with a harbor building, which is the same chain as the base game. But for us, the only boost we're ever going to get is from just uh, the silk boost between the three silk traders. So they're not as good as uh, they would have been if we had the base game. But we'll live with it. Alright, let's see. We really want to attack them. 
And the fastest way might be through this little pass here. Yuan Shao is still wandering around. That's how we like it. Alright, we're still re replenishing a little bit, so we might as well just walk. Cao Pi is waiting for us there. He doesn't... Oh! They still have an army. Okay, that's fine. We'll just lag behind a little bit. And maybe ambush to keep ourselves safe. In case they have night battle. It is a strategist after all. Alright, let's see. Who else? Who else is on duty over here? We'll come down and join them. Uh, slow, but we have reached now, so things are as fast as we can. What else do we need? This army needs to pull back soon. They can just exit here. We can have two armies come down towards Luoyang Trade Port, and then one army just take the pass down south uh, towards Nanyang over here, which probably Liu Bao owns. This army needs to get into position right over here. Perfect. Well defended. This is going to be a tough fight here. Um, let's get our other armies in place as well. Alright, they're going to strike Chen's livestock farm. And they're going to just assist them. These two are not that strong. So in case there is enemy around. We don't need to sit still for the mustering. We're fine. It's going to be ready next turn. Alright, might as well upgrade that. And then this will take the other livestock farm. We will assume the defensive position here. And just keep ambushing at this place. Yeah, no one's defending this, but we can't reach it in one turn, which bothers me again. But what can you do? This is actually a really strange army. Half melee, half range, and then these two guys are both scholars. So not a good army for offense, but we can use it defensively. Uh, the copper mine would be the best thing to get. But we see this army right here. This is the one that's taking over new land. We might have to go meet them. I think we should. We should grab the lumber yard and then just meet them down south. That would be the most efficient way to do this. Alright, right, so they'll pick this up and then we'll go take care of them. Grab, maybe send them over here to Jianye, uh, Jian, and then we'll take the rest of Xingdu and uh, Poyang's copper mine. Mm, that might be all our armies. Yeah, they're ready. Okay, ambush. Uh, who leveled up? Probably our new assignment characters. Yep. Let's see. She's decent. We'll get more industry income. Or, co yeah, industry income. Over here, you're a farmer, but you're probably never going... Oh, you could. You have potential. So we're going to grab Intuition. And then we can spend the rest of the money on buildings this time. Rather than... Oh, we got a armor. Interesting. Let's see. Probably not that. Let's start with commanderies. Mm, we don't need any more food. We can wait. We're not exactly flushed with cash right now. Forge. That can wait. How long is the assignment? Three more turns. Okay, so we're going to go with one of these five turn buildings. 30, 50, 80. So this is more worth it. These are fine. We need to upgrade this. Do we have assignments? Nah, that's fine. Three turns. Okay. 
Yeah. Hmm. We can wait a little bit. Although we probably need more public order, but this is 6,000. A little expensive. All right, we want the copper mine definitely to start working. Horse pasture first, since silk trader is really not that lucrative. Want unique horses. All right, we're gonna upgrade this, this. Since we do have the money, we might as well. And that's it. That's all the cash we have, right? Uh, we can afford one more building. Might as well push it. And we can go to next turn. All right, new turn. Let's see. This one. Oh, it's a monk. Monk's actually pretty good. Who did he work for? Gongdu's officer. Left him. We'll take him. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Create two. Okay. Hoping for a horse, but didn't get any. I think we can actually begin our attack on Cao Cao this turn. Yeah, we can actually reach him. Let's just make sure everyone's in position and then we'll start our attack. You can go on march and push yourself as far as you can. Where's the bridge? It's over here. Wow. Wow, what a conv convoluted route. Maybe you can just go south. Take the shortcut. I feel like we can take care of Talpi ourselves. Um, the other army as well. They're still replenishing a little bit. So there's no rush. We can just have them follow them. Alright, we can take care of him in the trade port. There'll be quite a big garrison here as well. Not going to be as... I mean, the, I, I'm assuming we're going to knock out most of their ammo with four um, debuffs. But I guess four debuffs is not going to be completely wiped out. That's only 120. And these have more than 20%, so they might have a few shots. But that's not a big deal. Alright, so we're ready to attack over here. This is also going to be tough. Okay, at least there's no administrator. We'll try our best here. So we're ready to attack over here. We're ready to attack over here. Ready to attack over here. Hmm, can we actually get both? No, we have to just take it slow. Right, I think we're ready to actually fight them. It's exciting. Alright, so first let's wipe out this army. Since we're probably not going to fight it on the field. Now they all have good armors and weapons just because they've been having the armor smith for a long time. But we don't really care about that. That armor is ours. You can go back. Alright. Level up? Perfect. Um, if we get Unbreakable, we'll be really strong as well. But maybe Condemn first. We can chase them down, I hope. Nope, not yet. But we're going to go grab these two. We can just delegate this. Would be assassin. Ah, oh. took out our guy again. That's fine. Let's see. He is our leader. We want to get diligence. So we'll start here. She can ambush, and then we can declare war on Tal Tal. I think now. We'll kick things off by taking the free territories, and then we'll end by fighting Tal Pete. Uh, philosopher. I guess we'll do... 
I mean, we want this. Yeah, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, let's take the free land first. He's trading with Liu Bao and Kong Zhou. He's allies with Liu Zhang, Kong Zhou, and Yuan Shao. Okay, that's fine. We're back at war. He's Oh, he's asking his coalition. Okay. I mean, I'm ready at war with Liu Bao and Kong Zhou, so no big deal. Ah, Yuan Shao's army has declared war on us. Guess they won't be wandering around anymore. They're just gonna suicide into whatever territory they're closest to. They're already so withered away that they can't do anything. Um, we'll end with this fight. Although there's a tough one here too. We're gonna start grabbing the easy ones first. Alright, this is free. Wow, we lost actually quite a bit of men. More than I expected. Probably should have fought that one. He uh, he will be leading his own army, so this will be good. All fronts. Immune to fatigue. Oh, that's temporary. It's not a permanent buff. Reach is also good. Oh, there's so many good ones for him. We'll start with... No, we don't need more replenishment, to be honest. We need this. Yeah, let's start here. Uh, who do we want to attack with? We'll attack with this army. Okay. There we go. Play also lose 300 men. 350. Hmm. New unit. Healer. Singer, not bad. Yeah, not terrible. Alright. We, that's a small regional city. We might as well try to get an ambush somewhere here. Trying to get the percentage to work out. Yeah, that would work. If we ambush and they try to take us while we're weak, we can take them out with the ambush party. Probably wants recovery. Yeah, we'll just get recovery first. We'll go down south, grab the rest of Yangzhou, and then we can probably move this army up. Just because we're gonna grab both of these. Might as well have them fight here. It should just be a free fight, even though our army's really bad. But I think we can, if it's empty, we can take it. Uh, we did everything here, so now is the too tough fight to end the episode. This one right here might be really tough, actually, because we don't have any debuffs and we don't have that many shots on these guys. We don't have archery masters for outranging them either. But we'll try it. Yeah. Alright, let's just start the battle. We're gonna try our best here. We're gonna try the corner tactic. Alright, we're loaded up in here. Um, the corner tactic that I was told is we find a corner, let them line up in the corner, and then use the trebuchets to kill the units. And then rely on, I'm assuming, fire arrows, which we don't have, to kill the towers. So it might not work. And there's crossfire from the turrets. So definitely not there. Definitely maybe this corner. This one would also work. We're trying to minimize the crossfire. 
Hmm. I'm still trying to learn how to do this. I assume you want to line them up like this. One unit facing this corridor here uh, to kill the units in this hallway. And then another, we'll turn off this. And then another unit here uh, to kill the units in this hallway. And I guess we still smash the walls, right? Or else how do we get in? And then either we take out the turrets, uh, the towers here, or we just tank it and get through the gaps. And then we'll just put our units, I guess, over here in the corner. Because there should be an angle here that allow us to shoot at them without taking these two. So we get free shots once we take this one out with these units. So these are two. And then we need these guys to go inside afterward. And they'll do their best to support. I assume this is the setup. Let's try it. And did they answer with their units? Where's their units? Uh, they didn't really pile into the corner like we thought. Why though? Now, we, I don't even know if it's worth hitting the wall here. This is not what I was told. I thought they would all clump up over there. We still want to kill this one. So let's start firing at this. Want to set it on fire. That's pretty accurate. I think once we bust through a hole... They'll put units where the hole is. At least we're getting some free damage on the wall behind. Alright, another shot should do it. Yep, over 50. I probably should have shot it with this guy. That way we splash onto these crossbow units. Alright, so apparently these are better at hitting walls than these. Because the explosion damage doesn't actually do anything. So we'll try that. I mean, these guys are level 8 and level 9, so it doesn't really matter. They're high level. They're going to do tons of damage. I think this will draw them closer once we smash this open. One more hit. They're coming. Please come. Alright. So these guys' range goes to here. We're going to go a little closer. And these guys' range go to here. Let's go here. Oh, that might be too much. Like this. I want to see if they respond by putting units here. I think they are. I guess we could fire into this hallway. It could work. We just got to be a little bit a little patient. It's a different style than what I'm used to. Okay, so we can probably move our crossbow units up too. We probably don't want them to fire just yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They have crossbow men. My bad. My bad, my bad. They have crossbow men too, huh? So I guess we're not going to outrange them. Still getting shot at, come on. That's a big mistake. I think we lost a whole tribuche. That guy's not going to be able to move them away and they're going to just get killed. Alright, they put units here. But just one unit though. Yeah, that, that one's completely lost. Might as well fire it. Well, uh, it's gone. Oh, it's still firing. We still have someone working there. That one guy. He died. But we're sending more men over there. We should just abandon this. Guys, it's not worth it. 
Did we miss? I don't know. This style, I don't know if it's working out for me. I think I'm just doing things wrong, but... So the idea is we kill units inside. Like this. Okay, okay. I see some merit to this. I, I guess we just messed up over here as people are dying. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible with this one before we die out. Alright, let's switch to regular shots. Break the wall here like planned. Well, now we're just getting destroyed here. They're losing all their men. It's really sad. Okay, so I think the trick is you blast two holes on the corner so all the units come defend the gap. And then you can shoot at them for free. But since we messed up, we don't have any men left to shoot these and they're getting killed. This might turn into a pretty ugly fight. We can wait a bit for them to uh, bunch up again. Actually, if we fire like this into the wall, it might be a good shot too. Let's see if that works. Oh, they broke the wall at least. Very good. Ooh, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Let's fire another one. Really want to kill these guys, but might be difficult. This is a very interesting tactic. I gotta play around with it a bit more. All right, we're out of range finally. Oh, they're clumping again. Let's try that. But I don't feel like we're killing enough. Maybe I should have been hitting the clump over here. Because we want to kill these spear guards. Let's do this on fast. Yeah, I think this works. We're just running out of ammo. Definitely a different strategy than what we're used to. And then over here we can shoot at whoever comes here. Not very accurate over there. Gotta go through this tree. So now the attack angle is on this side because we wipe this out. So this is our gap. We're burning the tree down. Great. You know what? Let's soften up this part for us. Let's just create a gap here to kill those crossbow units. Um, let's see if we can draw one out in a duel. No one has heal, but she's probably the strongest one. We'll try to snipe him a couple times and then duel him later. She also has a bow. Let's start killing. Well, this works. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let's move up a bit more. Oh, we're just outside of range. Perfect. Alright, you guys are next. Alright, can we get a duel? Ooh, he's stronger than us. Really? Hmm, interesting. 
Do you militia die? Okay, stop firing. Let's see if we can kill some of these crossbowmen. Might not be worth it. There's not many left. Alright, we'll wait for some softer units to kill. Let's start moving everyone up. You guys can withdraw. You too. Only spear guards? Okay. They still have a lot of Z militiamen. A lot of cavalry too. Alright, we'll waste some arrows on them. It's fine. I don't want them to be moving around though. Lose formation too. Terrible. Alright, that's not worth it. Wasted so many arrows. What can we do to actually draw them out? We would like the cavalry to charge us. Have to tempt them without getting the archers to shoot at us. Could be difficult. Alright, let's get a volley. Please don't lose formation before we hit you. That's ridiculous. How do you see us shooting at you guys? Oh, we're getting shot back. Actually, that's fine. We'll sacrifice some of these guys. Absorb the archer damage. They're not going to be very good fighting over there anyways. We have the bringer of righteousness for that. I think we can beat him though. Let's draw him out. I gotta slow down real quick. Uh, there's no debuffs we can give. She's on her own. Alright, you guys got hit enough. Switch with them. Alright, we gotta use this. Chop down his melee evasion, and then I think it should be an easy fight. Alright, we're gonna need you guys to fight in melee later. Send you guys up first. Oh, oh we're inside. That's a terrible idea. Try this. Might be a bad idea, but trying something new. Oh, can we win this? He has one health. Finish him. There we go. Good job. Alright, they're gonna take a shower. Putting our general in harm's way. Pull them out. I don't know. This tactic... I think it's also because this army is not that strong. It might work better. We'll try it again next time. Let's get everyone shooting. We'll use up all our ammo and then we'll try to rush in. They also have a lot of men. We have to use our generals well. We'll wait till these guys finish shooting first. Honestly, we have 50% range block chance on these guys. Let's switch them out. 
we can still use them against the cavalry. I think we can actually charge in. As long as we don't... Yeah, they, tr they died. Alright, they're routing. We're trying to bait their cavalry to counter charge us. Hide in this gap. Oh, they have archers. Okay, okay. We might have to just charge them and use our abilities. Alright, here comes the first charge. Brace, brace, you guys can do it. We have the ability for this on her. Alright, smash them. Ah, uh, we can't use it. He's blocking our abilities. Alright, we'll pull them back a little bit. Alright, they crashed into the chart. Got anti-charge. We're getting killed by our own archers. Over here. Block it up. Block it up. Take care of these guys. Alright, now we counter-attack. Together. Charge into them. Are you guys done with your shots yet? You got a lot of cunning here, huh? That's yours. Kill the kill the cavalry. Here. Time to move in. Now everyone move in from one side, please. This side, this side. I know it feels like it's cramped, but everyone move in from one side, please. Are we done shooting? Alright, you guys are done. No need to tank anymore. Also charge in. Kill that. Wait on the back. Time to melee. Counter charge. Ah, let's squeeze in here. All right, it's just a general show now. Let's go. All right, might as well charge in over here. Flank that. Break. Come in here. Charge. Yeah, there's probably not many strong units left. Let's create this opening first. Or maybe we're going a little too fast. We can slow it down a little. Flank charge. Alright, I think we've taken the gate. They can just keep going. Push through. These guys can come in now too. And these guys can also charge over here. Alright, go all the way in. I wish their morale would just collapse. But it's not happening right now. Get inside. Take care of the cavalry. Although they're probably going to get killed by this cavalry group right here. Alright, just got to kill these sword units. Keep pushing. Here comes the cavalry charge that we're not ready for.
Actually, you guys can kill these guys. And then these guys can kill these guys. Generals need to kill these guys. Flank charge them. They're just tired. Everyone's tired. Alright, we're on the wall. Alright, we got this. You stay on them, though. Uh, you guys stay on them? Alright, we just need to grab this plaza. 90 units, not that hard. Our generals can take care of it. They're done. Get down. Charge over here. They can kill this group. Three. Help us over here. Alright, I think once we take the plaza, it's, it's gonna be over. Almost there. Alright, we gotta be smart. Let's get into the plaza first, away from that turret. She's on foot, she got knocked down. Okay, it's unfortunate. What about other general? Alright, she still have her horse, that's good. Uh, we can disorient them and then rear charge them. That way we won't get knocked off. Let's see if we can get a charge on foot. Charge! There we go. No ability usage. But we can wipe this unit out pretty quickly. Come on! There we go. Hurry up. Alright, this is the big one. Oh, our crossbowmen are here. We got help. Alright, so are their cavalry. Might be tough. Generals, respond to the cavalry, please. Respond to the cavalry. Everyone in the cavalry, ignore the generals. Are we flying over here? You guys can take care of them. Alright, we captured it. If we just hold it for a little bit, we win. Everyone. Once we wipe out that horse, let's charge. There we go. They're routing. We won. There we go. Victory at last. Unless there's a unit here still fighting. Nope. Give it to us. Give us the win. There we go. Costly fight. But I messed up in the beginning. We'll try this siege tactic again later. Alright. That was a sluggish fight. But we pulled it out. I mean, we didn't end up losing a lot of men, actually. We only lost 550, so it just looked worse than it was. Uh, let's occupy. New character. Great. Um, so their job is pretty much done. Cao Cao's territory is cut off. The rest will be up to them. Uh, he Yi's men, or He Man's army. Well, it's He Yi's army, but they will clean up Yang Zhou over here. And then this army will take the rest of Chen. And then our main army will take the trade port. And I think Cao Cao is going to be dead next episode. And then we can push on to Kong Zhou and Liu Biao. And his two vassals who are both alive, I believe. Tai Mao is over here. Huang Zhou is over here. So it turns out Liu Biao is going to be the big boss. Uh, Cao Cao's army is pretty scattered. Um, Cao Pi might be his strongest army on the field. And he has another army here that might die to our ambush next turn. And then we'll just easily take over the rest and keep pushing uh, over here into Liu Bao's territory. 
that army can rest up a bit and down south we're going to just carve up as much of the land as possible now that we defeated that army so that's our episode a lot of diplomacy grabbed all the valuable territory out west and if you look at the map we're the grayed out portions uh very strange territories but we got all the valuable ones so pretty happy with that and we're going to continue pushing down to the central plains next episode see y'all then bye